There's something unique about having a child with Down syndrome that sometimes you can't talk to other people about. It is an unexpected diagnosis. There are going to be a lot of emotions surrounding it. Longer ago, there was no value for our folks with Down syndrome. We want people to value our folks. We need people to understand us. People need to know that there is a community there for them and that that community is going to be supporting them and helping them along their journey throughout the lifetime of their individual with Down syndrome. We are there for all of the good things that happen and we're also there to support them when things are not so good. We are all struggling with something and life throws you curveballs and there's beauty in those curveballs and you just need a buddy or a support to kind of perk you up to, to open your eyes to see them. It's about knowing the individual um, and understanding their strengths, their weaknesses, their likes, their dislikes, their passions, their hopes, their dreams um, and when folks approach it from that perspective um, it makes for amazing results. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. I just love it. I just just so happy. It makes me feel so good. And I'm so proud of the store. And I'm proud of this office. I think that the people with disabilities and I should be treated respectfully. My dream is that whoever needs this group finds this group. I've gotten to see a lot of moms be honest. You have to hear that to validate how you're feeling. I think it's helped um, getting together with other kids like her so that um, she can just kind of be herself and, and learn and explore. is the collaboration between all of the staff members to make sure that we're meeting the needs of our families. Help with therapies and they need help with finding doctors or they need social opportunities to be out in the community. It's really just about helping all the people with Down syndrome and all their families Thrive. We get to be creative, we get to watch them grow. <laughs> we've seen some first steps, we've seen some people start talking, it's very exciting. They have a lot of joy to bring to the world. The programs here help them bring the joy to others, bring it to us. We have individuals that work, play, and live in the community, and this is one aspect that we can show the community that it does work and is successful. Diversity is good. Experience with diversity makes it easier not to be afraid or intimidated and to be supportive and proactive in, in making situations better. Without this organization, the individuals with Down syndrome, even her, all her friends, would not be able to be where they are in life. We often say, you know, sponsors are the sun rays to our sunshine, our families are the sun, and by supporting our organization, you are basically able to spread sunshine every day. It is a gift that has a ripple effect by helping our individuals be better, you know, have better uh, quality of life. You're easing stress of families and you're helping the community by making them aware of all the wonderful things that our folks are capable of. Everybody benefits from being in a place that is inclusive, that is welcoming. She absolutely loves it, which 
makes us happy. I felt included just immediately. The Sonio helped me realize who I was. I just want to say thanks for supporting the Sonio and, uh, and for me. Thanks. Welcome to the show. I am here with Leslie Burke, our development director at Desanio. Leslie, you've been on the show before, but let's remind the audience a little bit about yourself and your role at Desanio. Sure. I, first of all, thank you for having me, Maria. I enjoy doing this show so much. It has such <laughs> a great impact in the community. And I'm very proud to say this is my 14th year with Desanio. I'm the development director. And in that role, I have the pleasure of securing funds for the 50 programs that we offer by either securing grants from foundations or working with our corporate partners, large and small, throughout Northeast Ohio. Mm -hmm. So today, we are going to be talking about World Down Syndrome Day and how Desanio is celebrating with our families. Um, first of all, what is World Down Syndrome Day? World Down Syndrome Day actually started in 2012 on March 21st. And it was established as a worldwide day to celebrate inclusion and awareness for people with Down syndrome. Mm -hmm. What is the significance of the date March 21st? If anyone has ever seen a karyotype or a picture of chromosomes, they kind of look like different things, which we're going to talk about that in a minute. But each person with Down syndrome actually has three copies of the 21st chromosome mm -hmm. instead of two. So it makes absolute sense to have World Down Syndrome Day be on the 21st day of the third month of the year. And what is Desanio? What, what do we have planned for our families? So we have a great new partnership with an organization called Cohatch. Mm -hmm. And this is a super fun space. It's actually located right in Beachwood Mall. So if um, our event is going to be two hours from 5.30 to 7.30, and you can come early and shop, or you can stay late and <laughs> shop, but it's just a great um, space where people can come to either work by avoiding the distractions of their home, or just come to gather with friends. So for our families that night, we're going to have pizza and desserts, and we're also going to have the golf simulator set up. Mm, fun, fun. We're also doing this Rock Your Socks campaign yes, that you just are. mentioned, um, and this is our first year that we're launching it. Um, tell, tell the audience about this campaign, Leslie. So Rock Your Socks um, is actually, as Maria mentioned, this is the first year we're doing the campaign. We launched it on October 31st, which is the last day of October Down Syndrome Awareness Month. And the Rock Your Socks campaign is really something that's done all across the country. And the significance, like I mentioned before, those chromosomes, that little extra chromosome that our people with Down syndrome have, if you look at it, it looks like mismatched socks. Mm -hmm. So the significance of this campaign is you can do something really fun with purchasing a pair of socks and wearing them not only on World Down Syndrome Day, but any day of the mm -hmm. year to support awareness and spread advocacy. Desanio mm -hmm. has been getting ready for for this day by having some mismatch parties. Yes, that's what will, you know, again, one of the really fun things about this campaign is we mm -hmm. got to involve our community. So we had mismatch parties um, because clearly there's no sock manufacturer out there that wants to make socks that don't match. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we purchased a lot of fun match socks and they had to be unmatched mm -hmm. and re-put together with the label telling a little bit about the campaign and how you're supporting our families. And each pair of socks, whether it's adults or youth, were sold for $3. Mm -hmm. And we had a goal of, you know, wanting to sell so many socks this year, and we're about 85% of the way there. So What is the goal? 2,100 pairs, <laughs> and we're at almost 1,800, so there's still plenty of time. And where can someone purchase these socks? These socks are available on a link through our website um, at desanio.org. Uh, there's a QR code that um, is also available if you want to share it with your friends. And, you know, we've had so many partners come through with this. We've had some families that have done their own Rock Your Socks campaign. We have quite a few schools that have gotten involved. And then even the mismatch parties, we had 
a group of uh, folks with disabilities come from SAW and help us mismatch one day. We've had a couple schools, Lakewood High School, St. Joseph Academy, do mismatch parties on site at their school. And we even have one family who just started with wanting to have enough socks for her daughter's kindergarten class, and they've raised enough funds that there will be socks to go around the for, entire facility. For the entire school. Yep, yeah, exactly. So it's really been a lot of fun. Yeah, so how did she do that? She posted something? So she actually created a post on Facebook, mm -hmm. and and she um, set up a little bit of a fundraising um, element for her and she just posted a picture of her daughter and told everyone we're, we're trying to just outfit the class and as it kept rolling she kept providing updates and eventually was able to announce that the whole school would be able to participate. Wow so people were donating three dollars to purchase yep. the socks for the people in the school exactly. or the students. Yes, yes. exactly. So, amazing, amazing. So it's really it's really been fun and you know this is the first <clears throat> year we've done it and we plan to do it every year going mm -hmm. forward. Mm -hmm. Good. I, I, I love my socks. I've got little tacos on there and music <laughs> notes. And I have foxes and argyle. And as you can see on the table, we have lots of lots of fun uh, different designs to be mm -hmm. had. So there's something for everyone. Yeah, and that's the fun part about it. When you purchase the socks, you never know what you're going to get. Exactly. So every year you should purchase a new pair. <laughs> exactly, right. Yep. And Rock Your Socks, again, is, is Desanio's um, version of this campaign. But even if you were to search World Down Syndrome Day, you would see there are campaigns all over the country yes. mm -hmm. that are done. And in addition, we've always enjoyed doing the Rock Your Socks campaign. Um, not only does it give us a huge opportunity, again, to connect our families with their supporters, but safety forces in Independence, which is where our office is located. You know, everyone loves to show us fun shots on World mm -hmm. Down Syndrome Day of wearing their socks. And this year we even had Donnie Iris, for, for people my age probably know who that is, but <laughs> he's a musician who's been around a very long time and his sound engineer has a daughter with Down Syndrome. Mm -hmm. So he got his socks and did a little fun social media campaign for us indicating the importance of this campaign. Fun. So if someone were to purchase their socks from us um, on World Down Syndrome, Day, which is March 21st. Um, we'd love for everybody to wear their socks and tag us in their social media posts, kind of make it a, a, a viral, go viral this year. That's what we're hoping. Mm -hmm. Check those out. I'm rocking my socks today. Hi everybody, Todd Meany here, getting ready for the big sunburst gala, but I want to let you know about something really cool that Desanio is doing. They are rocking your socks. And you can actually buy pairs like this in honor of World Down Syndrome Day, which is March 21st every year. It's on a Thursday this year. So you can go to Desanio.org, get a pair of socks like these, and support the Down Syndrome Association of Northeast Ohio and everything they do. Something else is happening on you know, World Down Syndrome it Day is. at Desanio. It is. We're so excited to, again, have our 24th annual Buddy Walk um, be announced and starting registrations that day. Mm -hmm. So this year's event is August 17th. We're returning to Tri-C West Campus. And on March 21st, World Down Syndrome Day, we'll launch the, the uh, registration for that event as well. Mm -hmm. So that's always another fun event to spread awareness and raise money for the organization. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You can wear your socks, even yeah. though it'll be the, the middle of August. But Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> exactly. And we'll probably be selling socks there. We'll be selling these socks all year round. At we the will. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. And for the Buddy Walk, um, other opportunities available for the community to support, such as there sponsorships? Is. There is. And... Um, sponsorship is always a huge part of our Buddy Walk. Mm -hmm. uh, and also, our families really love to get behind making teams to support their buddy. And, you know, we love a team that's two people to 200 people. We're just happy to have people celebrate the day. So the sponsorship information for Buddy Walk will be available um, very shortly. And either myself or Maria are great contacts for that and we just love to have everyone come out and advocate and spread awareness because that's what we're all about. Well thank you for being here today Leslie and talking about our World Down Syndrome Day with a video montage of individuals with Down Syndrome throughout Northeast Ohio. Mm -hmm.